I have references to Wikipedia because Wikipedia is a verifiable, I mean, it, it has this verifiability policy. And the only way that we're able to verify the content that are put on Wikipedia is through sources. And so we want to make Wikipedia more stronger and more credible. And so we organize this um, one live one prep to encourage community members to put um, references on existing Wikipedia articles. And it was amazing how community members had a lot of references. So during this particular campaign, we had about 507 references added to um, uh, a whole lot of articles, which was very impressive. And we, these are community members. In fact, you contributed to this. And this is how far we achieved with such a campaign. And another interesting uh, community-led campaign that happened this year was the Ghana Hate Society. I don't know if you heard about this, but Ghana Hate Society is one of the community-led um, campaigns or programs, um, events that <clears throat> is led by um, Tanaya Bota and the team. And also it's meant to add more references um, through uh, more bibliographic references because most of the time, most of the time, we know how to add references that are online. But how about adding references that are in books that are published, books that are in your home? How do you add those references? And so this particular uh, event sought to show community members how to do that. It was so much attended by a lot of people, and so much contribution um, were also made which was very impressive. So these are some of the programs that if you hear about it, you should not hesitate to be part of. And every year we organize what we call the Wikilab Africa. And the Wikilab Africa is more like a movement-wide or uh, Africa-wide event, photography event. One of the things that we ensure to make sure that we have, uh, to make sure that our programs are inclusive is to Organize a variety of uh, activities that um, meet the uh, needs or needs of di diverse communities that we have, the diverse community members that we have, because we know that we have some people who are here uh, as part of our communities who don't edit, per se, like they don't like to do their edits, they like to do their photography, they like to do their videography. And so, for those of you who are always looking out for videography, photography events, We Can Love Africa is one of the contests that you can be part of and, and, and active. And yes, we don't, we don't all have to do the same thing, we understand. So if you love photography, just look out for all the photography events in the community. But we Can Love Africa is one of them. And so this year, the, uh, the theme was home and habitat. So you, if you go to the category home and habitat, you see a lot of uh, homes, habitats of animals, humans, like any form of habitat. And you may amaze the wonderful pictures that came out of this campaign. So beautiful. And we also had awards for the winners uh, in Ghana, which will be announced very soon. Uh, another interesting campaign that we did this year was the She Was of Africa, and this was in partnership with Great Institute. And one of Great Institute's passion um, is to also increase visibility of women, like you know, the underrepresented community online. So this uh, particular campaign was very interesting. We had a lot of women uh, participating. We had some testimonies from K and he was able to organize an e-person event um, with their student. And we saw amazing contribution, and we also have uh, winners for these, this particular campaign. So stay tuned, and you will get to know who these winners were. So this is also some, uh, we have a club in Ashesi. So if you happen to be in Ashesi University, it's always a good opportunity to join them. Uh, we keep up a Shesi um, to be part of the Wikimedia community and support our learn. Um, then we also have the, so these are the photos from the shoes of uh, Africa in person trainings where we, we had uh, the one what 
the while we can have organizing and enforcing events. We also have tech organizing and enforcing events. Then we also have the Africa Week Challenge. Yay! So Africa Week Challenge is one of the biggest campaigns that we organize. And this campaign, we work with partners globally. We also work with other community members in other African countries. And it was so amazing the impact that we attained in this year's um, Africa Week Challenge. We saw more than 20 uh, participants from more than 20 countries participating in this. Uh, campaign which was so amazing which was so amazing and uh, it was very impactful and what we are looking next year is next year we're going to have one of our biggest partner of all which is the AKI African Knowledge Initiative so next year's Africa Wiki Challenge is going to be bigger and mega so if you're a community member in the, or you're a partner from other African communities, this will be a very good opportunity to be part of us, that connection to us. Let's see how we can make this more impactful. And we will also have be working with Afia, which is the uh, 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 the library association in Africa, which is a library association in Africa, which has like all the apps, library connected across Africa. So, in fact, I'm just thinking about how. AWC is going to look like next year. It's going to be big and better and amazing. So please pass me your pin bill and get prepared for it. There's going to be a lot of opportunity to impact your capacity because most of you are things that you're lacking skills in particular uh, things. So we're going to build more capacity. We're going to work with you to identify those kind of skills that you need to be able to um, be effective in the community. So, so these are also pictures from the Weekend Lab Africa photo walk. You can see how coming. So we, I mean, if this uh, event is to show you what has been happening. So if you are home and you are not participating, you are missing out. This is, these are some of the photos of committee members being involved. And most of the time, we are looking at um, how how do we impact our society. Impacting our society is not only about um, donating a food or clothes to someone. Donating content, improving content online is also a way to impact your society because when you're able to put this information online, someone who needs it will be able to have access to it for free. And this is what we are talking about. So, this is also like the highlights, just to let you know, the launch that we had for the Africa Week in 2022. It was a virtual launch because we understand that community members are spread, like the communities that were involved in the Africa Week Challenge are spread across multiple countries and even in the diaspora. And so we couldn't have had an in person event. So if you look online, there was a very, like a lot of people who joined us. More than 40 people join us online virtually and on, on our YouTube channel as well. And this was really amazing. So one of the interesting projects that we've been doing is the Kiwis for School project. And it's a very wonderful and impactful project that we're doing because of uh, how internet is costly in Africa, you know. Internet is very expensive, expensive in Africa. And even if you go to most of the secondary schools, you could hardly have access to internet, especially in the remote areas. Uh, and this is a really big problem. This means that once they don't have internet, they are not able to access, they are not able to do research, they are not able to access other complementary form of education. And we all know that education is, it's not just about passing exams, it's about broadening your knowledge, doing research, finding other sources. And how do these students and teachers do that without the internet? And so the Kiwis for School project is one of the uh, signature projects that we do that enables these schools who do not have access to internet to be able to explore these alternative form of educational resources without the use of internet. So these contents are put in a form of a file and they are installed on their computers in the India computer lab. So what they do is that they are still able to browse these content, access biology, geography, science, English, vocationary, 
some content from Wikipedia that are useful to them without having to think about the internet. Isn't that amazing? And what makes this project really amazing is the fact that we are led by community, which is you. And so what we do is that every year we open a call at the beginning of the year to invite community members to submit a proposal or uh, express their interest to do keywords in their community. So we have community members expressing interest from different regions. And then we, because of limited resources, we do a short list of 15 people and they get their, each of them, their partners on board. And we train them. We train them on how to install it. And we support them with devices like uh, pen drives and some souvenirs to take to the school. We support them with transportation to visit the school. And so these are the, the ways that we support community members to be able to install KWIS in the computer laboratories of the school. And this, uh, this is one of the amazing projects that um, I've been organizing and we have been organizing. And the outcome is so amazing. We, in as much as we want to make an impact in this, we also find found out that um, the computer to student ratios are like a big margin, so which means that they need more devices. But yeah, we'll see how we're going to um, deal with that. But the little that we can do will be, be continuation. We also identified some other challenges, which has to do with copyright issues and, and, and the rest. But, um, we're still working hard to see how we can explore this um, strategy. Because there's no other strategies to get these resources from the So, another amazing project that we have this year as part of the Wiki for Human Rights campaign was that um, we had a community community-led um, conference, which was the Wiki Green Conference, it was an amazing conference that was led by Nanaya Bota, Maxwell, and Otwo Wache. So community go to be leader, organizers. And this is amazing. This, we want to see more of such things. And if you see this, is, uh, if you look at the photo, these were uh, events from the Wiki Green Conference. We also had, we also supported uh, our partner, which is the YCC Youth for Climate Council, to be part of the Wiki for Human Rights campaign to organize an edit two day edited time where we introduce Wikipedia to um, students and youth within their climate space, to work, climate activists, and all that. So, this was really an amazing uh, project which was attended by close to 90 people. We had four, about 40 people online and about 40 plus people in person, which was really amazing and very impactful uh, project. After which we held the open dialogue, the role of open knowledge in the global environmental change uh, in the digital era. This was also attended by native people of the community who shared their thoughts about how the open movement or the open space can, uh, I mean, can be a source of knowledge to be in, in bringing that knowledge about climate change and the environment into um, our world. So we had amazing people attending this event. And thankfully, we have, we have amazing um, Wikipedia as well, also environmentalists like Utu, Maxwell, uh, and also Daniel who were involved in this. Yes, I've been talking so much. Please. Yes, let me. So this was some of the certificates. Once they completed the, the uh, two-day event, they were awarded certificates um, of, for participation. Then another interesting thing that we also did as part of our environmental or climate change advocacy awareness was we partnered with um, uh, one of our partners, Aroka Ghana, uh, in their writing competition, and they had uh, students writing about 
about mental SDAs. It was like an essay competition. It was very interesting. And these three kids emerged to me. We were also part of the judges. And they emerged to me. And part of the benefit of emerging as a winner was that we introduced basic Wikipedia to them and sort of like made it more exciting, show them basic, like, uh, interesting facts about Wikipedia. We, so we had that Wikipedia session for the kids, and uh, it was really nice. And we gave them some beautiful souvenirs as well. Um, so congratulate them. Hey, so I don't know if you heard about the AWMT. Africa, AWMT is African Wikimedian Technical Community, which formerly was the Africa Wikimedian Development Program. When we come to Africa, we realize that we have a lot of developers, we have a lot of technical people, and we are now in the digital age, technical age. But when we come to the movement, we are not seeing a lot of participation from them in the movement because developers have a lot of uh, opportunity in the Wikimedia movement. And so, as part of our Africa uh, Wikimedia technical community, we want to train more of such people on how to um, apply their skills in the Wikimedia space. Developing uh, or working on their Wiki platforms, format, we are a whole lot of technical stuff that please, I'm not so familiar with this, this technical stuff, but they're experts who really know how to do that and mm -hmm. to how to do that. So we have this hybrid um, event in Ghana here, which is also attended by uh, community members from Chad, Nigeria, especially, and uh, maybe one or two people from um, other neighboring countries. And it was so wonderful. We had people doing some contribution, doing some assignments that I didn't really understand. But the technical experts really do understand what the contributions are. that have been created or language pieces that have been created, uh, they need translations. You know, they need translations in that language. So that not English, you should go to three pages and then you are reading English headings and all that. Mm -hmm. So these are the work of the technical contributors they translate all this data into the local language. So if you're also a local language contributor, you can also be a technical contributor and be part of the African Wikimedian technical um, community. We have a WhatsApp platform, very active WhatsApp platform with more than 100 people on that WhatsApp platform. So don't miss out. If you want to be a part of that community, please reach out and then we'll add you to it. Another interesting um, campaign that we have been up to is the Founders Day of Ghana Right Now. So the whole idea is to write about um, our founding fathers, more of the historical stuff, you know, on Wikipedia, because um, you and I know that sometimes one of the reasons why we don't have a lot of documented history is because of the oral thoughts. So we in previous last one kind of documented um, books around. So these are uh, what has enabled us to write content about our history, make sure that we are projecting our history very well on on Wikimedia platform. Hey, every year there's this fun that we have, which is Wikimedia. And the whole idea is to celebrate the contributors that uh, are contributing to all the Wikimedia platform. So it's a time dedicated to celebrate all of you who have been doing amazing work in the community, either contributing, either supporting the organizer, either editing, or doing community engagement, or you are 
whatever way that you are supporting the community, we dedicate this time to celebrate the amazing work that we did or contributed to doing all across the world. And this year we had a hybrid. Uh, this year was more like a, what do they call it, satellite event. So we had satellite events and three different uh, regions. Afara, we had Kumasi, we had Wadi Wadi, I think so. Yeah. And it was amazing. But you know what? Next year, there's going to be a different way. So stay tuned and watch out. Some are going to likely find themselves in Singapore. Some will find themselves in another African region. Let's see how it's going to unfold. It's not going to happen the same way that it's happened in the past. So we should stay tuned, join the main list, look out for updates about Humania, and be part. Because there's going to be a lot of scholarships for volunteers to participate in the Humania event. And so look out for that opportunity. Yeah. So another amazing project that we've always wanted to do in um, our book exchange, but also a, a signature project under our library project. So the book exchange book is a book that we want to could at advantage places like the mall where there's high traffic in the years for people to donate books and pick up new books. So that's the point. You put a book and pick up any new book that you want. It doesn't look amazing. So we are able to launch this project at the Achimota Mall. We had a partner, which is the Ara, uh, Ara Children's Center. And it was the Achimota more you see that as a playground for kids. When you go to that place, you see the book. So anytime you go to watch the Atomata Mall, please that book that you stop reading, very useful book. Maybe you're no more using it. Please pass by our mall and donate the book for other kids who need them to have them for free. So a lot of amazing things have happened throughout the year. I think the recent projects that we've had um, recently has to do with the African Knowledge Initiative project, which we did recently uh, in partner in collaboration with other Wikimedia communities, which is the uh, Wikimedia Ghana. Um, we also partnered with Boy. Uh, and then we also had the Dagman uh, Rep, which is Sadiq, supporting us in this event. It was amazing. We organized two impressive events, one in Accra and one in Kumasi, which was massively attended. And so this is a very great initiative. It was part of the African Knowledge Initiative uh, event, which is happening all across Africa. So it was really amazing. We had a great contribution. And today we are happy, we'll be happy to announce the winners of this contest as well. Um, the last thing was the World Cup Hackathon. Hey, if you watch the World Cup, you know that this, this World Cup was no doubt. Like it was really hot. It was really hot. In fact, especially the finals, those of you who wanted Fans to win. I hope you are disappointed. <laughs> yes, Messi had to make his shoot. And so that day, we were all in the office here at the temple of the night, trying to update um, meta page and um, Wikipedia pages about this uh, footballers and all that, their record, the number of goals that they've scored, and the World Cup results and all that. These were the kind of things that were happening there. It was a great opportunity for new people to also learn how these basic edit editors are going. So please, we've done a lot of activity. So it, we did, we, we do an evaluation. Someone is saying, he didn't hear anything. I don't understand. Please, we've done a lot of activity. So all you need to do is to sign up, call someone and be part of it, okay? So don't sit in your house and be just, glancing through the WhatsApp platform and overlooking all the posts that are in. No, look at it, get involved. You find out for one event. That will be where your Wikipedia journey is. Some people say, I want to travel. I want to travel. If you're not contributing, how do you travel? 
So please contribute. Wikimedia will recognize your contribution and invite you. One day you'll be there and you'll be invited to an event here or there. So please be active, okay? There are so many opportunities. And even your activeness in the Wikimedia move space and local open other opportunities for you. Some people get scholarships just because of their contributions on Wikipedia. So um, take advantage of all the opportunities that we offer every year to contribute, to learn, to build skills. Someone, someone said that the reason why I'm not contributing to, I'm not participating in the writing fund because I don't have a skill. If you don't have the skill, we have given you programs that will give you the skill. So just be involved. Just take the baton and run with it. Find a mentor in the community. If you need a mentor in the community, just reach out. Oh, I need someone who will mentor me. And then we would, we have a lot of active people on that platform. So we have a lot of access to all these mentors. Just speak out that I need one person to help me with this. And you'll be sorted out. I think this comes, brings us to the end of like the programs that we've had throughout the year. And you've seen the wonderful pictures. So if you're not participating, people are participating more. Have you seen all the pictures? These are not Photoshop. These are real human beings who were involved, contributing huge statistics on all of the events. So please be involved. And that brings me to the end of uh, the highlight of our program. <laughs> Afternoon. So, um, so while we are waiting, we are, we are just giving ourselves some two minutes break to relax ourselves. Yeah, um, usually we play the Wikimania video. So mm -hmm. you see, that's what happened in Okwa, right? This is the Wikimania. Yeah, just look at how what happened. In this year's Wikimedia. Just take a drink, get some snacks. It's just the size. <laughs> but whatever they do, they do. Eh, big problem. How can we be buying one piece of cake?
Good afternoon. My name is Gamedi Kodibia, and I am the current interim administrative executive for OP Foundation West Africa, and I am here to share the executive summary with all of you. I'd like to start off by congratulating all of us for all of our commitments and our contributions throughout this year. We have taken it upon ourselves as an organization that is going to provide education, make it free and easily accessible so everybody is empowered. I'd like to congratulate all of us for the contributions that we have made and our sustained commitment. I am congratulating because we cannot deny the fact that this year has been particularly challenging, looking at all of the economic conditions all across the globe. I congratulate all of you once again because we have stuck to the vision and we have kept it alive. In view of the current economic conditions, it has become necessary that attention be paid to certain areas so we can enhance the volunteer experience. One of them is volunteer support. We have taken feedback from the community and we are aware of the challenges that we are facing. We are in talks with the foundation and we are coming up with a plan that is going to enhance the volunteer experience so we are able to keep this dream of free education to the world alive. There is also the need for the knowledge of the movement strategy. This is something that is going to guide all of our activities for the next eight years. And it is important that everybody knows this. So going forward, we are going to pay particular attention to this aspect by having regular online and in-person meetings to teach the community about the movement strategy. So by the end of this year, the movement strategy will be common knowledge for all of the members of the community so we can align ourselves to it until it is realized. There has been a community evaluation and we have taken feedback and we have taken note of all of your concerns. I'd like to emphasize here that Information is disseminated by our newsletter on, on our various social media handles. So I'll entreat that we pay close attention so we are informed and we know when all activities are taking place. There is the need for skills building. And I'd like to entreat community members to reach out to the older volunteers, senior volunteers, these are individuals in the community who have been in for a while and they have gone through their mills. So they have a lot to share 
as far as knowledge and experience is concerned, I entreat that all community members reach out to these senior volunteers so they can tap into the knowledge and experience to develop themselves. There is also the requirement for other skills apart from Wikimedia, Wikipedia editing, like photography and photo editing. So this makes community members able to take good pictures and be able to edit them so they can contribute to the commons. We are going to get experts both in and out of the community to share knowledge so we enhance the capabilities of community members. We have also had the challenge of IP blocks, and these have prevented account creation and also continuous editing by people already in the space. One strategy that we have adopted is to create accounts on the dashboards so newbies are able to have access to hands-on training during the training sessions. As far as the QX project is concerned, we are looking at building partnerships to help us overcome some of the challenges. There is the challenge of bureaucracy, and that made it tough for us to reach certain schools who were able to get to some and were not able to reach others due to this. Going forward, we are going to raise partnerships that will help us navigate this challenge and also raise other partnerships that will give us access to open educational content, especially that which is local. So there is more on there for everybody. We are also looking at developing partnerships so we can bring hubs closer to the communities. In this challenging time where transport fares have gone up, it's, it will be helpful if we're able to bring the hubs closer to people so they don't have to travel such long distances. This time, there is a lot of focus on what we are going to do to support community members because it is the people who are the community. We are going to support so we are able to keep this dream alive as we have all taken it up upon ourselves that we are going to make information free and accessible. We are empowering life and we are here to do everything to support you. So we are entreating your continued support and commitment because we are here for you. We are going to support you so the dream stays alive. Thank you and I wish you the best of the season. Wow. Yeah, so I heard that the video didn't have sound. So please, we want to take the video one more time so that you would have a feel of it. We want you to feel well. Yeah, we have so many videos. This is our YouTube channel, Open Foundation West Africa. Just go to YouTube and go search for Open Foundation West Africa. So many amazing videos that were created that you would you can relate to or relate with. Some of you will see your faces and some of you will see that you've been part of some of the events that we've organized. So, you just, can you take it again before we go to the next phase? So, the next phase is going to be the award phase. Hey! Some people are looking out for their names to be mentioned. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of surprises. So, please just trust in your seatbelt. You're going to definitely hear your name in one of the awards. <laughs> Are we ready? Good.
film and arts world was a convening case in the person of Andrew Scar. <laughs> and the third winner is from Nigeria, brothers and sisters, which is in the person of Mohammed Ibi's criteria. <laughs> so, like I said to our Ghanaian editors, let's make sure that next year we'll be topping this list and we wouldn't allow any you know foreigners to intervene into our awards list. Now the um, next campaign I'm talking about is the Decolonized Internet Campaign, ETI, which was funded by Gwefe. Um, so our very first winner is Francis Quasi. And the third winner is Kokoko Sympathy. I know, I know Francis and Thomas are uh, online with us, so if you're here, you can kindly just raise your hand, just so people will know who you are, and congratulations once again. And to the next campaign is the Founders Day campaign. So our winner from the DTI managed to win the Founders Day campaign again. So Francis, congratulations for being the winner. And Yaltuba, our new campaign was the second winner for the Founders Day campaign. And our third winner, our, our editor who refuses to stop editing. He says that no matter the number of awards he wins, he will still edit. So he managed to be the third. That's Supremo. <laughs> uh, lastly, we are going to the um, Wiki Labs Africa, our photo contest. So let's see who won the photo contest. Uh, actually, we had amazing photos from this particular competition. We'll be sharing it after the um, AGM. So our very first winner is the person of Bambiwa. So she's, she's our first female winner of uh, most of our competitions this year. And the second winner is Francis again. And in third place was Judith Hammond. Now to the award that has most Hubs and, and some communities, you know, tracking and you know, arguing and all that. Who's going to take the hub of the year this year? <laughs> I think you should all take a wild guess. That's a few more. Hub of the year. Who? Who? Hub of the year. Accra. Hub of the year. Kumasi. Hub of the year. Kumasi. Hub of the year. Wow. Well, unfortunately, you all are wrong. So, our uh, hub of the year is Wali Wali Wiki Hub. Thomas Bach, wow. People made, you know, people brought nice contributions. I mean, the names that you mentioned were actually great editors and all that. If you notice, most of the winners that I mentioned, the names the names of the competition that I mentioned and announced the winners, there was one name that went away. And this is in the person of Francis Quasi. <laughs> You know, pop up an emoji or just wait for the space. Thank you so much for contributing to the open moment. We appreciate your efforts. We see all the contributions that you, you, you do. Just because we don't talk about it doesn't mean that we don't see. We see all your contributions. We are very glad that you, you know, contribute to uh, the open moment. Thank you once again, uh, everyone. And, and we'll go on a short break.
and we'll come back. Bye. So wow, 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 wow. This is amazing. I want to say a big congratulations to all who won award in whichever competition that you participated. I'm I'm hearing a lot of new names, which tells us that you also can be a winner for a competition next year. Don't get discouraged, don't get demotivated. This is like this is how it is. And some of these things that we are hearing this year, they never had any award last year's competition. So it tells us that there are, there's room for new people to also get awards and be a star performer of the year. So this is very interesting. And to the half of the year, the Wally Wally team, you guys have worked so hard. We are proud of you, that you guys are doing a lot of work in recruiting new editors. You guys have also supported us so much in some of the campaigns, if not most of them, like trying to contribute as um, volunteer as jury members and all of that, all these contributions are recognized and we really appreciate it. This does not mean that the rest of the hubs are not doing well. In fact, we couldn't have given, uh, we couldn't have picked or we just had to pick one. So if you are doing an amazing job, please keep it up because something good is coming your way. So that is the only encouragement I'll give to you. If you're doing amazing work as a half leader, please keep it up. Your time will come for recognition. And if you're a new editor here, please don't let us discourage you, okay? There's more room. Just pick up yourself, learn, do more collaboration, attend more events, and then you get the skills that you need to be able to contribute. Um, you didn't learn the show as we're coming close to the end of the whole meeting. Those of us in person here, we're going to have a different party yes. all together, more networking. So that's the advantage of coming in person. Because when you're online, you can you can do much like you would wish to do. So those of us here are going to be chilling uh, uh, here. So if you are home, just get a glass of, of drink. Coke Fanta or something like that, and, and just to sit in the and listen. Yeah. So YouTube is going to give us another video. YouTube is going to give us another video. YouTube, what video do you have for us? But whilst we are preparing for the video, we have wonderful community members here who has a word or two to share about the experience, what has stood up for them this year. It's good to hear from them. So, um, who would like to come first? Yes, yeah, just come and say your experience, anything that I, this gentleman he really wants to talk. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> so, tell us about your name and then some experience that you have shared. The whole community is watching you online. All right. Yeah. Okay. My name is Joe Parry. Currently, I'm with the Akali Kikha, previously also the Kibasi Kikha. And I actually enjoy being with this team because there are lots that I learn and I enjoy the networking. Uh, my experience is actually traveling and meeting new people, seeing fun ways we can engage in the Okay, so, all right, I'd like to thank you all for giving me the opportunity. Wow! <laughs> thank you so much for sharing your experience. We're giving everybody the opportunity to come and say something. They are all watching us. I think that gentleman there, both of you, what is the talk? I'm coming to you. I know you are cool. You are loaded. I should to him first. Okay, Tom, come. Let's welcome. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Philip. Um, I think I joined the Team that was about three weeks ago. There was a session at the Kutana Center. I had the opportunity to be part of that training. It was very, very awesome. I learned a lot about everything on the team. I really, really enjoyed myself during that session. And I'm hoping to learn more from the team members and also connect with them from a lot of collaboration and partnership with the team members. So, guys, those who are not on the platform, they are thinking kind of, uh, I want to join and stuff like that. We can encourage one of you to be part of this.
is indeed from all sorts of very knowledgeable guys and around to talk to you about this uh, journey ahead. So please let's all have fun and be part of this community. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, this is amazing. That was three years ago. You said three years ago? Three weeks ago. Oh, yeah, the uh, African Knowledge Initiative trainers. Wow, I mean, then, so you didn't join, right? Next time when you hear it, join. Um, yeah, this is our children down behind there. Can you talk and say, tell us something like yeah. it's a freestyle. You just share the community. <laughs> So this is actually my first time talking, so I'm here to join the community. So I'm actually wanting to know how to work around the freestyle. Yeah. So when I saw the post on Instagram, I actually wanted to come for the whole house. Oh, yeah. But then, so today I decided to be around. I made the team physically and then take it from there. Yeah. Wow. Wow, so we have a new week here, yeah, you know? Yes, uh, for every event, we, we have a new view represented with us on the days. So you're so much welcome to our community, and we're going to take you into the movement, right? Just you. fasten your seatbelt. So the, the Supreme One, uh -huh, the man of the moment. <laughs> Come and give us some words of encouragement. Come and inspire the young one. Oh, now you are yeah, the young editor. You, you are the mentor. The movement. Yes. We have to graduate you to be a mentor. That's all we can do. So let's work on the editing with that. Hi everyone. Um, um Faisal um uh known as the Supreme on uh, Wikipedia. Okay, I'm currently uh, blocking the Ghanaian pigeon. In the incubator. So, in case someone is also interested in contributing, um, they can help it. Okay, in case someone is interested in contributing uh, in the Ghanaian region, you can contact us, me, Stephen, and uh, Mante. Okay, so, come to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So, he. Um, as a colleague started the Ghanaian Pigeon, you don't have the Nigerian Pigeon. Now we have a Ghanaian Pigeon because the Nigerian Pigeon is not the same as the Ghanaian Pigeon. So if you're interested in contributing a Pigeon, yes, this is the guy. Yes, he will take you through. Um, I see anyone who wants to say, so I want to give an opportunity to another amazing person who has been with us for the past few months uh, as an intern. Um, he's been supporting the team in planning and organizing the event. He's also a newbie, but it's, he's sort of like learning. I want him to come and share his experience working Ooh. at Okwa and how he envisioned the media community. Let's welcome Brian. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian. I'm in Tema Okwa. It has been a great experience working with the team here because I've been to learn new things and I've been introduced into the wiki uh, community. I didn't know anything about it, but working with the team has given me a great experience and, I'm, and I really like it. So I'll continue doing it even back in school when I'm out of school and I'm probably hoping to join the team after school. Thank you. Wow, so you're drawing the curtains down. Yes, you're drawing the curtains down to our virtual week so that we can have our party, so that you two can have your party at home. And so whilst we close, um, let me just give a closing remark. Um, I think our admin executive has said it all. Yeah, congratulated everyone. Has given us a message of what we should be expecting next year. We want better support our volunteers because we know that volunteering is hard, especially in Africa. 
but I want to encourage you that these volunteers have really paid off. It might not pay off yet, but in anything that you are doing, make sure to talk about it. Let them know that you are a volunteer in a community like this. You can get as far as you can. You can open other doors for you, even especially as a community leader. It's giving you a, 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 a work experience, more like a work experience, community experience, and all of that. So don't underestimate any contribution that you make in the community because it's going to help you out there. It's not only going to give you the media skills to contribute to the media, but even self development digital skills, a whole lot of skills that you can apply in your workplace. So don't underestimate it. Also, one of the things that I want to highlight is that there are different levels of volunteerism and benefit. So please, we have active volunteers, we have inactive volunteers, and there are benefits that active volunteers enjoy in our community. Please, if you've, you've not done that um, thing, uh, Volunteer journey, uh, how, how do you call it? Infographic, please. I will let Eugene share on the WhatsApp platform again to remind you that there are a lot of benefits that you can have as a volunteer. And we are here to support you. If you need recommendation like that, if you need uh, assistance to apply for scholarships and all of those things, we are here to help you to be successful. Okay, so we um, don't hesitate to be happy. So these are just a few words of encouragement that I have for you. Um, stay tuned. Next year is not far away, so please don't go and sleep. Next year is just next month. It's just some few days to come. And there's going to be wonderful activities, so please be on the lookout for all these activities and opportunities to build your skills in the Wikimedia uh, project. So we want to say thank you all, and we want to wish you a happy, happy festive season. Do enjoy yourself. Um, I don't know if anyone online wants to say something. I think we should also give opportunity to them. You can say your last words, and then um, we will just end it here. So I'm sorry for not giving you an opportunity. Please forgive me. Um, let's give some people online. Okay, so judge, so judge, congratulations. Let's hear what you have for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On behalf of the Walwali Wiki Hub, we are super excited to be crowned the best hub of this year. And I, I can just imagine how our members, our hub members, will feel right now. And we are encouraged and we promise that we will do more and more this coming year. And we are su super excited. We are super excited. Open Foundation West Africa, once again, we are super excited for this hour. Thank you. For you, for the hard work, we've seen it all from here. And we hope that you keep up the good work. Is there anyone who else wants, who wants to say something? Any more questions? Any of the winners wants to say something? The Kumasi people wish you. Francis, you want to say something? I would like um, George to, to say something. The leader of the African um, technical community. He's not around. Okay. So, Francis, can you tell us something? What, how did you do it? Because you took a lot of awards. What's happening? What inspired you? We haven't seen you on our award list for like God knows when, but this year you've proven it has wrong. So, tell us something. He's having a technical challenge. Okay. Okay, so let's say goodbye to all the online people. Let's say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Victor, where you there? 